Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today I'm going to have an afterlife conversation with John Lennon. If you're interested in more videos and want to hear more about John Lennon or from John Lennon, go ahead, go ahead and check out the playlist tab where John has a playlist dedicated to him. Now, the reason why I'm channeling John Lennon today is because I literally, prior to waking up, I had John Lennon in my mind. So I felt like, uh, I don't know if there's a relevance to the date or if he's just here because there's a lot of energy around harmony and peace and a desire for, you know, some of the things that John in his lifetime was a voice for. And, you know, the word imagine, I, I can see it in my mind and the strawberry fields in New York City and I can see the, uh, I actually, so I have a bumper sticker that I have on the windshield of my psychic minivan and it's just like tucked into the windshield and I've had it for probably eight years there and it said, um, it says, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. So there's a lot of connection here with John Lennon. Um, so I'm going to ask him what, why, what's going on? Is there something going on? Um, the date today is August 29th, 2019. I don't know that the date specifically has a significance to him or his work or life on the planet, but August 28th, it, it might be, I don't know. I haven't looked anything up. I didn't look anything up. I don't Google. You guys know at Bub Life Channel, your job is to Google if you want to know more details. But if you're a mega fan, you already know, so you can post that in the comments and share with other fans. So, John, what's the deal here? I can feel him, you guys, he's up high. <laughs> a lot of times when I channel people, they kind of come in. I'm in my kitchen, kitchen here at my kitchen table. It's where the magic happens. It's where I'm comfortable interviewing, where I would have you come over and have a cup of tea or coffee, whatever, and talk, right? But he's up a little bit of a level. It's like on a mountain, like meditating, like uh, ascended kind of energy. So the information coming from him is coming in an ascended way. So like a masterful teacher or an ascended master kind of energy with John Lennon. All right. He says, hello, Bridget. That's a, that's a very good description and it, it will help um, others to understand the context for this message. It is in part about world peace. That's accurate. There's so much for humanity to understand. There's so much, so much. One of the core functions of your life as a human. <laughs> he says it isn't to manifest. It is not to manifest. One of the core functions of your life as a human is to be in forgiveness, to allow your heart to grow and to expand, to encompass the orbits, the many orbits of the universe. Orbits of the universe, what the heck? The orbits, like he's showing me, moving around the earth, orbiting the earth and seeing all the people and knowing that there's so much disruption in oh my gosh do you guys feel that okay if you're clear sentient you can feel it. there's like little oh, that was really weird you guys that was really weird so I was describing this energy coming in with John Lennon as he's like an ascended master and there's these ripples kind of coming through like am I my head in front of me in like our etheric field which is like the energy like about six to twelve inches six to well for me it's about six to ten inches outside the body but it, it, it's kind of uh, it's different it's <laughs> it's like s smoky or something i don't know how to explain it. it's like foggy yeah you can make all sorts of jokes if you want about that but it's true so if you're clairsentient take a breath with me Clear the heart energy, open your heart to the receiving of the energy that he's projecting. 
So he's showing me orbiting around the earth and looking down on the earth and all the people and the humanity and, and seeing that the humans are lacking in their humanity. <laughs> and that, that scarcity that I have to hold tight to mine because I have to protect what I have because if I, if I don't, somebody's gonna take it from me. And that he's making me feel this, I can feel the, inner, the, the context of the message I'm feeling and translating to you in the words that I feel most appropriate match this energy that's here. And that we are, as humans, are so afraid to stand up and help other people and stick our neck out and really not just say, oh, that's bad, but do something like take to the streets and vehemently show our support for our neighbors and our community and our fellow humans. And the best, easiest way to do that is in the circles of the communities that we live in and to really not be afraid to speak out when and say what we believe and value when we are honoring the human cause, the humanity. He says the human cause is the best cause. If you want to support and get behind something, the human cause is the best cause and everyone is a human being. The body and the depiction or the imagery of the person doesn't matter. It's a person in a personification of a human, a human being. And the body is a representation of the many aspects of who we have been in our lifetimes and who we will continue to evolve and grow to be. And right now humanity is suffering a, a crisis of consciousness and wherein consciousness is truly being called in to be so relevant, so so present like you put your you put your consciousness first and then you think about the consequences after so not to be in fear and hunker down like there's a hurricane but to step confidently through the barrier of the hurricane that's the illusion and step into the center of that the eye of that storm and have the confidence of all who have come before you and all who will come after and knowing that you as a human are part of all of humanity standing in the center and holding a a incredibly strong and he shows me like a post like a post that you would use to build a cross like a big post or a big pole or a totem pole or whatever kind of huge pillar that you could imagine, very strong, but made of many types of layering of weathered experience and being, it's not about the thinking mind, he's, he's showing me, it's not about the mind thinking first and then acting, it's about moving, from a state of such a pure conscious spirit, not even the heart, which you may feel in John Lennon's energy, is the place to feel and be compassionate when he said forgiveness. But he is showing very specifically the yellow of the solar plexus, which is where your spirit is. It's right at that navel, that, the, that belly, and that's where our soul in theory if your mind needs a place for the soul to live that's where it lives in that beautiful temple inside your body and that energy center that is your spirit is such a incredible powerful profound part of not just who you are but who we all are and he's showing me harmonization of all of the soul in each of us and that pulls us forward into this place where we go move past the the fear and the, the storm and the, the winds and the rains and the intensity into this inner space of shelter and strength. And the shelter comes from the strength of everyone coming together in that pillar and being one in that space. And it's not about the mind deciding, it's about the soul being called forward without even any, any kind of discussion in the mind or understanding in the mind. It's just this 
pull forward into this new state of our consciousness. It's about our consciousness. And this is message from John Lennon, as interpreted by me, Bridget, here at Above Life Channel, in the clairsentient field. So sensing energy and getting messages through energy and then sharing that, whether you're journaling or in conversation with someone, you are all messengers. And that clairsentience, that feeling of this understanding, this just knowing, and using your words to help translate the energy of the message. This is an example of that. This is a type of channeling, all right? So do you guys feel that energy? And then I just felt it again. It kind of it literally like realigned the mind and the visual third eye channel and really brought that just boom, land. And oh, diamond, shh. That's my little doggie, one of them. My little dachshund girl who bark, bark, barks. And uh, one of my kids just came upstairs, so that's why. All right, so that just boom landed. So I see a triangle, and to me, triangle is ancient knowledge and wisdom or a symbol of just simple wisdom and truth. And so when I see that, and John Lennon's energy is present here, I know that he's like, yes, right on. That's exactly what it is. And he doesn't have that kind of, yeah, energy like that. That's a Bridget thing. So John's energy, let's see if we can bring that forward. He says it's advocacy. It is advocacy through the consciousness of humanity. And the only way the soul can truly be reborn in the human form to save humanity is through you as a person. And that feels, I'm sure, like quite a heavy load to carry, but you're not carrying it alone. You're all connected to a very powerful source. And, and you, in your own right, are a very powerful source and, and not many of you can understand that in your mind. And, and I know, I know that it's not an easy, an easy uh, place to be. And it may seem confusing, but it's not, it's not for, it's not for, um, and he says, you know, it's not as like heavy or dire as you, as you may first feel it to be. That's why it's important to access that soul, that consciousness. <laughs> so I dropped, I just dropped his energy. So that's all right. Um, real life, you guys, this is what happens. Busy family life. I have a couple kids that just came upstairs to eat and my dogs are barking. So it's normal. This is what happens. So let me reiterate in my interpretation of the energy of what he says. So although it feels heavy, it feels like it's an important thing to do and that there's this almost burden on you or it feels like, oh my gosh, is it ever gonna get better? What he's bringing forward is yes, this is part of the agreement. Like this is part of what you signed on for. This is why you're a human to be able to have these experiences. And there's a tremendous amount of power in that. And there's a lot of joy and it may not seem like it because that seem, may seem so far away. But there's a lot, of, a lot of beauty to be gained from that understanding of living life in that way as a conscious being to be conscious so become conscious so if there's any advice from john lennon in the afterlife today it's about being a conscious human be conscious don't just follow the old patterns of the mind and logic and reasoning and all that because as we've well seen in our environment what's true anymore is only what somebody else thinks is true for themselves and so you don't have to buy other people's representation or presentation of the truth or chaos or what's happening in the world or how bad a situation is, but you can stand in the power of basic, basic, what we know as basic humanity, basic, not even skills, basic energy of kindness and harmony and oneness and coming together, coming together. And that's not a dream, that is reality. We can make that our reality when we have the courage to simply feel that call of our soul and respond in a conscious way and present, show up in a conscious way, whether you're at the sideline of the football game or you're overhearing a conversation in the checkout line or you're sitting in the back of the church or, or you're online on a, in a Facebook group, it doesn't matter where. You are who you are no matter where you are at. I've said that so many times. If you followed my work, you know that I say that. You are who you are no matter where you're at. And that's very true. And with John Lennon's advice about showing up in your soul consciousness, 
then that's what's going to make a difference. That's what's going to turn the tides and bring more of a balanced energy to all of humanity. Not just you and your own little world, but to everyone. It will ripple out. Your family will feel different. There'll be less anxiety. There'll be less depression. There'll be less problems in the stock market and in, in with companies and people losing their job. There'll be different things in healthcare, new breakthroughs that will come through because we as humans come together collectively and stand in our power of humanity where we are all one in our consciousness, all one in our spirit, regardless of how we look or are expressed in our human form. We are one. All the good and the bad parts that we might identify in our mind if we're labeling but in our soul, it's just part of one and it's a balancing energy. It's a balancing. So this is Bridget. Thank you so much for this video, for watching it. <laughs> it's true, this is what happens in real life, right? I am a real person. And part of the goal here at Above Life Channel is for me to show you that psychics are real people. Mediums are real people. We're not that different from you. We just do different jobs. We have different life purpose and that's okay. There's not a better or a worse. It's just, it is what it is. We're just human beings trying to live connected to our spirit and having the fullness of our life. And so I want to be real transparent with you and show you what real life really is like. So thank you so much for watching. Remember the purpose here has been to inspire your spirit to fill you with hope because this, this is your life. So live it, just live it. Thanks for watching.